hi welcome to my channel and today I have a sweet tiny unboxing so today I'm going to be unboxing the Bell sweet tiny this is the milky color version or pastel version uh, I think most places list them as milky color versions or version B um, so this one is just a lighter color than the version A so if you look on the box here it shows you the two versions you can get. This is version A and this is version B. As you can see, she's just a slightly lighter colour than version A. And on this side of the box, it just gives you a picture of the figure. So on this side of the box, it just gives you a different angle of the figure. And then on the top of the box, it gives you a close-up of her face, which is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, let's get this one open. I've cut the sellotape already, so I don't have to mess about cutting the sellotape for you. Let's open her up and get her out. So I bought this one off Amazon and I think I paid £23 for her, uh, which isn't too bad. They usually retail around £25. Uh, so yeah, she comes in three parts like most of these sort of figures. So yeah, let's get her out and have a proper look at her. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to take a look at is the little stand. Now all the stands for these sweet tiny figures are um, flower shaped, so they're just shaped like a little flower. And they all have these little nodules on so that your figure can sit onto the stand easily. That's the back. This stand is a nice pink colour. The stand isn't very pastel. This is, um, I think the stands are the same colour for both. Yeah, they don't change the colour of the stands, just the figure. They give you the same stand for figure A and figure B. It would have been nicer if this was maybe a lighter colour to match with the figure. Okay, so we'll look at her body first. Okay, so here is her body. As you can see, she's holding a little book. Which is really cute. And she's wearing her yellow dress. Now, I don't, I see a little mark there, but I think it's just going to rub off. Um, you can see a bit of the glue here. Uh, I wonder if I can rub it off. I don't know if you'll pick it up on the camera very well. No, you can't really see it, but you can see some of the glue on there. But otherwise, she looks pretty good. Really nice. And there is a bit of a white mark on the book. Not coming up on the camera, but there is a little mark there. But you won't see it when it's put together. So that is the body. Let's have a look at her head. Okay, so this is her head. She looks absolutely beautiful. She's got big brown eyes and she's just so pretty. She's got little earrings in as well, it's like little peachy earrings, which are really nice. And let's have a look at her head. She's got a little yellow um, tie in her hair. And yeah, she looks really nice. She does have a red mark on her eye though. And yeah, that's not going to come off. That is quite annoying. Um, so if you can see it. Let's see if I can turn down the brightness. There we go. Just there, she's got a red mark on her eye, which is a little bit annoying. It's just not coming off, so it must be painted on, which is a little annoying. But like I said, once she's on the shelf, you're not really going to notice that red mark. 
so yeah let's put her together and see what she looks like so first of all oh, actually what I didn't show you was the underneath of the figure so this is what she looks like underneath so it's still really detailed underneath they don't need they could have just made that flat but they have made it really detailed so you can actually see her little legs and she's wearing little knickers and then these are the two holes where the stand will fit into I'll just pop her onto the stand I don't know if she's gonna fit actually and this isn't she's not actually gonna fit on the stand oh, no. oh there we go just, she just needed a little bit of a push to get on the stand there we go and then let's add the head I think I'm gonna, yeah she needs to be like that I was gonna put her like that but you're gonna want to have her sideways I think so you can see the book so I think her head is supposed to go yes yeah, sideways like that so if you look at the box that is the position she's in sideways as though she is resting her head on the book although this one doesn't quite fit so that she's resting her head on the book maybe I need to push her down a bit yeah she doesn't rest her head on the book like those ones seem to be maybe her head's not on far enough there we go oh now she's nah, she's nearly there she'll do but yeah she is absolutely gorgeous I'm not sure actually if I actually prefer the normal version of this one I got the pastel version because all the other ones that I have are pastel but I actually do think I prefer the colouring of the standard one to this one but I still love this one so yeah there she is she is from the side, the back, and the other side. So she is an absolutely gorgeous little figure. So there she is, all put together. She's an absolutely gorgeous little figure. Really, really cute. I absolutely love her. She will be going with the rest of my um, bell figures. I've got quite a few of the cute poskets. She'll be going and sitting with those. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I will put a link down below to where I purchased this from in case anyone wants to purchase one. And I'll also leave links down below to my other Sweet Tiny unboxings as well. I have already unboxed the Cinderella Sweet Tiny and the Tinkerbell one also. So if you're interested in those, I'll link those down below. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little unboxing video. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.